Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bulldog Winch line of cargo nets. Now these are going to offer D rings for securing it and also the tie down straps that we'll need. Now we have three different sizes available. We've got our 6x6 for short bed application. That's part number is BDW20300. For a long bed application, that's going to go to 6x8. That part number is BDW20301. For a trailer application, we have part number BDW20302. That's a 12 by 8. That's going to give us good width and also good length. That's going to work for up to a 12 foot trailer. Now what's really going to set the Bulldog Winch cargo net system apart from most other competitors that you're going to see is just the quality that they've used in producing it. The gaps in the holes here, these are four inches by four inches wide. Typically, these are going to be about an inch and a half wider, usually about five and a half inches. Also, the heavy duty polyester webbing that they've used here is two inches wide versus most that we see at an inch and a half. You also see at every cross that our webbing is going to make, we've got heavy duty stitching here. You see there's actually double seam stitch. They've gone across pattern there. So this is going to give us superior durability and reliability. All the way around the net, we're also going to have two rows of D-rings. So just depending on that load, whether it's a smaller load and we need to use the higher rings, or maybe a larger load and we need to use those lower rings, it's going to make it much easier to get our connections done right and get everything secured properly. Now each of our D-rings is going to be secured with a high visibility piece of material. That way they're just a little bit easier to locate. And you can see both the D-ring and our stamped steel hooks here have a corrosion resistant coating on them and we're not going to have to worry about the rusting and corrosion issues like that. These have also been double stitched with the box stitch and the cross stitch just to make sure everything stays really nice and secure. Now the straps are also going to be a two inch wide material, polyester. As you can see they're printed on one side not on the other. That really helps us when we start running it through our buckles to keep everything nice and straight. Now, as you can see, there are D-rings located all over this cargo net. That's going to help us very much in securing our cargo gear. For the trailer version, the 12 by 8, there are 20 D-rings all the way around it. On the truck applications, the 6 by 6 or 6 by 8, it's going to have 14. Before you get heading down the road, if you want to secure your D-rings, something I like about the hooks is that they're plenty large enough to click any of those extra D-rings into to keep them from moving around. And you'll see the latch here is going to keep those from coming out as we travel. Now the cargo net itself in any of their configurations is going to have a safe working load limit of 750 pounds. So that means at any point on our cover going around we can't exceed 750 pounds of pressure on that. That's not to say we can only contain 750 pounds but we can't put more pressure on it than that. Each of our straps also has a 730 pound safe working load limit. So with multiple straps there, we're gonna be well above the cargo net's capacity. The maximum brake strength of the cargo net is gonna be 2,200 pounds, just like our straps. Another great thing about the cargo net system is that it is completely compliant with all of the DOT and also the NACSS standards. Now when we're ready to use our cargo net, we just want to bring it up and over whatever it is we're going to be securing. Once we've got that pretty square over there, we can start securing it down with our straps. Now the straps are long enough you can go either directly down to your connection points or you can go across to kind of draw the load from either side. We'll leave these loose initially till we get all of our straps in place. Then we'll go through and cinch each one down individually. Now we'll cinch down all of our straps. We'll do this equally all the way around. That way we have equal pressure on whatever it is we're gonna haul. And it seems to work best if when we tighten them down, we'll pull in on the strap towards our buckle as we pull out on that other side. That really helps to get them cinched down well. Another great feature of the cargo net system is that this is fully expandable. 
So this is our 12 by eight here. That's gonna work out really good for about a 12 foot long trailer. Once your trailers start to get longer than that, you'll want to expand the cargo net system out and you wanna match about the length of your trailer. So in this case, we've got our six by eight laid out. If we add that to our 12 by eight, that's gonna give us an 18 foot length. And we can also expand width wise and expand it out that way as well. To connect them, it's just gonna be a simple quick link connector. This is part number C82930. It's rated for 660 pounds working load limit. If we have three of those going across, that more than covers the working load limit of our cargo net. And that's gonna complete our look at the Bulldog Winch cargo net systems, available in the six by six, six by eight, and eight by 12. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.